I made this video so that you know how much I love you. I wanted to tell you why I've made the decision to place you with your family. I was not really anticipating it, obviously. I was actually kind of naive about the whole pregnancy thing. I didn't want to think about adoption, like it wasn't a part of my vocabulary. And so for about two months, I was kind of like, maybe I can be a mom, maybe I can do this. And I realized like the more time went on, I was like, no, I can't. I was looking for families, looked through thousands and thousands on adoption.com. And so I come across Brad and Emily's profile and I was about seven months pregnant. And there was something inside of me that was like, this is it, this is the family. And so we got to go through all the little baby clothes together and put together his crib and all that. And so like I was included in all of it and I was there when Emily had her baby shower. I remember as soon as I gave birth to Tag and I heard him cry, I was able to like reach down and feel his arm and I touched him and I was like, how am I going to do this? And it really hit me what I was doing as I was holding him in my arms. The baby is yours until you sign the papers, but they don't do placement until 48 hours after, which is generally when you're discharged from the hospital. Right now he's 100% mine. On the entire pregnancy, all I was waiting for was just these two days I could spend with you. And right now, I'm in the last hour of those two days before I sign you off to Brad and Emily. And then you're gonna be their little boy. And I just want you to know that I really, really love you so much. I made this decision purely out of love because I knew I couldn't give you a mommy and a daddy. I hope your daddy's watching over us right now. And I knew that if my son were to watch that, he would realize that it wasn't a heartless decision and that I really did go through like a very difficult time to do that and like to place him with his family and all that. Say Hannah. Hannah. Emily is always going to be mom first, and then I have a relationship with him, but I'm not the one parenting him. I've learned that whatever decision you make, you have to know that it is right for you and your child. There is absolutely nobody else in this world who can tell you what is right for you and your child. So if you ever see somebody who's going through a pregnancy alone, your words of negativity will not be productive and that I'm sure they would appreciate more than anything your support and your love. <laughs>